It's Americans' livelihoods that hang in the balance as a pair of pandemic unemployment programs expire today, impacting about 14 million people. Joining me now, Pennsylvania Congresswoman Madeline Dean, a Democratic member of the Judiciary and Financial Services Committees. Welcome back to the broadcast. Hope you had a good holiday. I'm asking about this relief bill and how imperative you think it is that it gets signed today. And even if it does, what kind of lapse in benefits can Americans expect? Well, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Alex. Thanks for having me on. Uh, it's beyond urgent that the president sign this bill and send relief to American people. Can you imagine this holiday season as the president is off golfing or tweeting? Uh, he cares little for the suffering and pain of other people. He cares not at all uh, that today unemployment benefits and the enhanced federal benefit will run out. We have millions of people unemployed, struggling, uh, through no fault of their own, because of a pandemic and a virus that is out of control. And yet the president has been disengaged, uh, uncaring. It's sad, but this president is going out the way he came in, soulless and substance free. And there are many who will agree with you, but there are those who've heard that the president says he wants the relief checks to be raised to $2,000. That's up from 600 in this bill. House Republicans are the ones that nix that. They block the Democratic efforts to go along with the president. Speaker Pelosi now setting up a vote for the standalone bill on Monday. I mean, do Americans need $2,000, not $600, and will they get it? Well, I thank uh, the president, it's rare that I do this, but thank the president for pointing out the great need that Americans have. Uh, back in the summer, Matt Cartwright and I, Congressman Cartwright and I, introduced payments for the people. Guess what the level was? $2,000. And it would be a recurring payment quarterly, connected to need, connected to the unemployment levels. It's very strange that the president, who is uh, allegedly the author of The Art of the Deal, was disengaged, paid no attention to uh, the negotiations. And then once the negotiations are complete uh, and we have a bipartisan bill uh, that we have passed, that he now stands in the way, throwing it up in the air, the idea of $2,000. Do people need that? Absolutely. It is desperately re needed relief. An economist told us long ago that people needed relief throughout this pandemic. You remember, we passed the HEROES Act back in May. The president and the Republicans did not engage, and the president didn't even engage until after his own administration had come up with a deal. Yeah, the, the timing is actually quite extraordinary, given the months it took to get to where we were just this week, only to have a last-minute you know, thorn thrown into the plans there. The president uh, calling for the higher stimulus checks, but he's also telling Congress, hey, stop the billions of dollars in pork. He says it delivers too much money to foreign countries, not enough to Americans. Is the president right? I mean, is the relief bill not doing enough for Americans? You know what? This was not the bill that we wanted. We wanted more relief to the American people, and we wanted it sooner, and we wanted it recurring. Uh, but look what happened Christmas Eve. The president's own party, Republicans, blocked with great indecency the $2,000 bill. So we'll be putting that on the floor again uh, on Monday. So we'll hold everybody to account. Uh, what the president is doing is has nothing to do with the substance of the bill. He's just creating chaos. That's the way he operates. Hmm. There is a new USA Today Suffolk University poll I want to look through. Uh, according to that, 50 percent of Americans predict history will judge Donald Trump as a failed president. What's your reaction to that? And, and his effort now to boost money now to Americans, is it too little too late? Well, I think history will reflect, sadly, that this president uh, has been an utter failure. When he was elected president, we all wanted him to be successful. And I was reflecting, Alex, on his inaugural address as we prepare for a new president's inaugural address. You remember the jarring, dark words that he used? He used the words that this American carnage stops now, stops here. I think, sadly, he was projecting what his presidency would be, a very dark set of carnage uh, that, sadly, he will go out and he will forever own. Uh, corruption, indifference, uh, think about it. He's executed people as he pardons others. Uh, he mm. will go out, sadly, a most failed president. And that is not what anybody wanted. And there have been government shutdowns on his watch. In fact, one is looming as the COVID relief bill is tied to the larger spending package. How likely is a government shutdown this next week? Do you think Congress will avoid it? 
Oh, I pray and I believe we will avoid it. You know, when I was sworn in two years ago, we were in the midst of the longest shutdown in American history. That cost Americans billions of dollars. Uh, we now are in the midst of a pandemic where people are worried about their lives, their livelihoods, uh, the social justice reckoning that we need to face. Uh, and so I pray and believe we will avoid a government shutdown to impose more harm on America at a time uh, when they are suffering such great harm uh, would be extraordinarily unjust. And I want to say again, I call upon the Republicans, work with us, work with uh, this administration as it goes out the door to send relief to the American people and prevent any further harm. You mentioned uh, federal executions as well as the president's pardons this week. Those pardons included Roger Stone, Paul Manafort, in fact, multiple other people caught up in the Mueller Russia probe, as well as some allies from Congress. What do these pardons say to you? They say, say that this president never understood his job. He never understood the leadership, the role of the president. A pardon has to do with mercy. A pardon has to do with someone paying his or her due to society. Uh, this is, these are sets of pardons that have nothing to do with mercy. Uh, they have to do with favoring friends. Uh, can you imagine at a time when he allowed the executions, federal executions to go forward, he pardoned the Blackwater uh, defendants, uh, Mr. Kushner? Uh, it, it's, it's extraordinary, but it, it's shocking, but it is not surprising. This is the very man, the huckster who was elected president. Uh, he is going out shamefully with these pardons. He's going out shamefully, not caring about the suffering of American people, not caring about people who are hungry and in food lines as he goes and golfs, or if it's a little too cold for him, he tweets. Mm. Pennsylvania Congresswoman Madeline Dean, sobering assessment right there. I'll look forward to seeing you, though, in 2021. Thank you.